Hey math kids, um, so I found a problem with one of the problems I was going to put on the previous video, and so I had to cut it. Um, so that's why this is broken into two pieces. Alright, so we are given the vertices, or three of the vertices, of a rectangle, and they want us to find the last one. So it is a rectangle. Um, I think to wrap our heads around it, it's going to be best to make a graph. Not for the time drawing straight lines today. Okay. So the first one is negative 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll put that there and call that A. B is 3, 7, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and then 6, 2, or 6, negative 2, so that's B, that's C, if we connect those, So we don't really know where D is. We know about where it's going to be. It's going to be around here. Um, but we want to find the exact value of that. OK, so what we're going to do, we're going to approach this by finding slope. So we find the slope of AB. And so our change in Y, we can see we go from 5 to a 7. So that's going to be a 2 rise. And then our run is from negative 3 to 3. And so that's a 6. And so if we simplify that, we get 1 third. So the slope of AB is 1 third. Now, because we know if a slope is 1 third, the perpendicular slope is negative 3, you flip the fraction upside down and change the sign. Um, but let's verify that just to make sure. So if we go from B to C, um, we start at 7 and go down to negative 2. So that's a drop of negative 9. And then um, our x values change from 3 to 6, which is a 3. And so if we simplify that, it is negative 3 like we were expecting. So what that means is that this truly is a right angle, and so it can be a rectangle. Now, what we're going to do um, conceptually, we want to draw a line that has the same slope as this line, but it goes through this point. So if we use um, point slope, we can do that. Okay. So this white one will be, we want it to go through A, so we're going to say Y minus the Y value of A, so 5, equal to the slope. Now we want the slope to be the same as this line, and the slope is negative 3. And then we're just going to say x, and we subtract the x value. So in this case, we're going to say plus 3, because minus minus would be plus. OK. Because of what we're going to do next, I'm going to um, put this in slope-intercept form. OK? So I'm going to distribute. So we get negative 3x minus 9. Add 5 to both sides. So y equals negative 3x minus 4. OK, so we're going to use that later. That represents that white line. And we're going to use similar thinking. We're going to use this thing again to make this blue line. So this time we want it to go through c, and we want it to be perpendicular to c. So we want to use this slope. OK, so we're going to say y minus the y value, so in this case it's going to be plus 2. Then we use the slope, which is 1 third, and then x minus the x value of c, so 6. Once again, because of what we're going to do next, I'm going to put this in slope intercept form. So this is going to be x over 3 minus 2. 
we're gonna add two to both sides. Or no, we're not. We're gonna subtract two from both sides. And we end up with y equals x over three minus four. Okay. Now, we need to know where the blue line and the white line cross, because where they cross is going to be point D. So to do that, we're just going to set them equal to each other. So I'm going to say negative 3x minus 4 equals x over 3 minus 4. So once again, I just took this and set it equal to this. Since they're both equal to y, you can do that. Now. Um, what I'm going to do first is clear the fraction, so I'm going to multiply everything by 3. So that becomes negative 9x, negative 12, 3 and 3 cancel, so we get x, and then negative 12. Okay, now I'm going to add 12, add 12. equals x um, okay <laughs> and then I'm going to subtract x subtract x and that gives me negative 10 x equals 0 divide by negative 10 divide by negative 10 and so x equals 0 so the x coordinate of D is equal to 0 and then, um, let's see. Okay, so uh, x equals 0. So all we need to do is plug it into one of the originals. Um, this one actually looks easier. So y equals negative 3 times 0 minus 4. And that goes to 0, so y equals negative 4. We have the x value, the y value, so 0 comma negative 4 is actually where d is supposed to be. Okay. Um, I think that's all you need to do your homework, so um, if you have additional questions, come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.